Higher education also teaches us competition, how we need to show our individuality, how can we compete among the rest of the students and how we prove that we are on par with them or we are above them. Higher education teaches us cooperation, how we can synergize our efforts and work as a team in order to accomplish tasks. We learn that individual competitive spirit is good and in the same way collaborative spirit is equally powerful or even more so. How we develop leadership skills, how we gain acceptance in a group, because leadership are of different styles, but how we mix, how we intermingle, how we take charge, or how we follow a group is all a learning process in higher education. It also teaches us emotional expression and emotional control. Not just expressing, but also being aware of oneself being aware of our own emotional turmoil within us and how to maintain that control, how to be calm in times of stress. It teaches us how to develop observational skills and being keen critical observers. It teaches us how to develop role models with people around us. Our teachers can be role models, our friends can be role models, our parents can be role models people who you interact with in our day-to-day -day life are all role models and this we learn as we grow through the college days. Because role model is not just some great person but we can also see good qualities in each and every friend of ours, in each and every lecturer with the principal we get in contact with, the guest faculty who come to visit the college there are so many things that we can learn from the people around us and each person is a light in our lives. Higher education also teaches us how to remove the fear of expression and inhibition. A lot of students enter college feeling very self-conscious, having stage fear, but over a period of time, given an opportunity to express in seminars and projects, they slowly learn how to master their fear and how to express publicly. Higher education is also how we master our fear of failure. Because all of us go through that phase where we are scared about what others will think. What if I fail? What will they think about me? But as we go through the years of college, we realize that we need to face our fears, overcome our tensions, and express ourselves freely. We all have self-doubt. When we all ask questions within ourselves, what if this happens, what if that happens? But I'm sure that all these questions of what ifs will be answered only when we take the initiative, when we take the first step. It's okay to fail but it's bad when we don't even try. We also learn not to hold back. We learn to let go of certain things which is holding us back. We learn to understand the value of experience and especially in the, in the scenario of COVID, we have all started accepting the change of life. Higher education helps us in so many dimensions not just in the cognitive area or the cognitive domain that is by way of how we think and process information but also it teaches us about values, ethics, how to, what is right, what is wrong. We learn how to interact with students and how to, how to interact with our friends, subordinates, superiors, so social development also happens. We learn how to emotionally control ourselves and express ourselves. And we learn how to be physically expressive. That's all for this episode. See you in the next episode. Bye.